Good luck on the 6.5. Stressful and don't try Echoing Spirit. Yeah, this one. So the Broken Blade, this pretty much shuts down all champs that use Echoing Spirit, Grand General's Counter Plan, or anything like that. Anyone's just casting a lot of the same cards. So a lot of the other people we've been using to cheese this, such as like a Diana uh, or Master Yi, they're going to be completely trash here. This shuts down a bunch of units. Uh, I think Aurelian Soul is probably going to be the best here. Although a lot of people are focusing on the Broken Blade and this will be bad for you. But the inevitability is actually going to be pretty terrible because grant the foes units everywhere 1-1. One, one. That means the units in their hand and deck. So the units are going to be bigger. They then play them and then from the deadly power, they're going to be summoned with those extra stats and then they're going to get even more stats. So this is actually doing more than just giving their units 1-1. One, one. This is going to be keep scaling and going to be, again, massive units scaling out of control. And then also this just like completely counters a good chunk of champions. It also kind of shuts down a lot of your control champions because like for Yasuo, you're wanting to play especially his champion spell, but that's going to be increased. For Morgana, you're playing her champion spell a lot, so she's also um, shut down there. Honestly, going for like a Kai'Sa or Pike wouldn't be terrible. Misfortune would probably be solid if you had her. Although the problem with Kai'Sa is your uh, second skin is going to be increased, which is that's going to hurt you. Yeah, so that will actually be pretty rough for you. I think Viego could probably be fine. You are playing a lot of different cards. You're not really playing a lot of the same one. So Viego would probably be fine here. I think Aurelian Soul would also be the, the way to go. Yeah, let's let's see how terrible this is. And then based on how it how it feels, maybe we can come up with some cheaper champion that's able to deal with this. Uh so yeah, that sounds pretty good. Just extra damage when our units die. Seems fine. Alright, silent shadow seer. Acel Dumpsters is 6.5, but yeah, non-constellation 3-star, not an easy task, yeah. So I think for a lot of people, this is, I mean, for most of it, a lot of people just grab Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul is going to be really good for the weeklies until you get to the modifier where, like, your created cards cost 3 more. Up until that point, though, you're probably fantastic. Um... Sure, let's drop this here. Uh, do we really care for attacking? We're not going to kill either of their units. Yeah, I think we're fine for now. Oh, if only we were a little bit stronger. To kill that, but I guess it's gonna it's ephemeral, so it's gonna die anyways. If I'm forgotten, then no. Alright, so we're gonna use Shape of Fear, but I think we'll probably use Grasp here. We wanna shut this down before they can just keep getting more of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill that. See, the good thing with Viego is a lot of the cards we're playing, we're only playing them like once, maybe twice. This is not over. Like we're summoning a bunch of Encroaching Mists, but we're not playing Encroaching Mists. All right, we can drop that here. Uh, do we want to play this first? Sure. This will help our Viego level. Alright, 
yeah, so he's going to level from that. And sure, let's go for Arachnoid. When another ally dies, drain one. Also, this build with the Spellweavers and Portal Pals is just fantastic for more random cards to play. I think Viego here, especially if you maybe have him at like four stars, uh, so you're still getting that overwhelm. I think Viego, regardless, like, yes, him at six stars obviously is fantastic. Um, but even below that, he could be decent for this one. Like, if you have him at level 30, if you have a couple epic relics, probably is still going to be solid here. Let people plug up Portal Pals Viego. I'm a day one advocate. Yeah, I don't know if it was you or someone else, but someone mentioned it in chat. It was like, oh yeah, that actually does work pretty well. So that was a very good shout out if that was you or whoever did do it. Um, Hecarim is okay, but we just want more copies of our Viego. We want to stay in our region though, which sucks because like we don't... Getting Hecarim is going to make it so we don't draw our Viego round one. Spectral Riders are decent, but let's try to do a reroll. Okay, something in our region. This is good. We don't really want to get a lot of copies of the same card specifically for this modifier. If we weren't doing this encounter, I would probably actually go for the Death's Grasp. But since we can't play the same unit, uh, this will be decent. So this is the only one that, well, yeah, so that's Bandal City. So again, that's going to mess with our region. So some good things here, but we really want to stay within our region. Okay, Thresh, this will be pretty good. This is, yeah, this will be fine. All right, Monastery or Spells. I think Monastery lets us cut a card. I think this essentially just works like a healer where you could heal or cut a card, I think. Let's try to go there. So we have the uh, Hearth Guard. Yeah, that's the like one downside of this build is it's super fun, but you really need to stay in your regions. If like if you have to go outside of your regions, then Noxus is still pretty good, but yeah, it can be pretty tough. Let's get rid of this. And yeah, we can hold on to the rest of these. I think Nidley would actually be a bad option here. Because not only is the bush potentially going to get cost increased. But you also have your transform spells and like your spell you generate every time you get the attack token to transform one of your units. Yeah, that could be pretty bad. So we could do this here to get another one, and then we could attack. Sure. We're just trying to get our scaling, and if we can try to get these to hit the four power in your first turn so that you get that cost reduction, it is very good. If someone must do the 6.5, maybe a lease and scum for elusive for the spiders. I mean, yeah, there are going to be some strategies where you can just try to keep refreshing to get like the perfect power to help you. Um, that is something that you can potentially do. Uh, let's, yeah, drop this so we can get just a constant flow of mists.
All right, so that'll be a blocker. Getting Thresh on the board, watching units die will be decent. Because we want to get our Viego, but so far that's not happening. Uh, this is actually pretty good. This will kind of give us too many mists, unfortunately. We'll get one from killing our unit and one from killing their unit. But that means one of our mists is going to get destroyed or obliterated, that is. All right, so... We can attack, drag these to his side, and GG. We probably could drag Thresh over here so he levels, but it's not really mattering. Oh, solid. Uh, Janna, she can surpass the cost increase with her cost reduction. I... Janna's not going to be fast enough to ramp up, and then while you can circumvent it, uh, you circumvent it if it only increased like once, but it's going to keep increasing, and often for Janna, you're playing the same spells or same cards over and over again. I don't think it's really going to work. Getting more copies of cards we already have isn't great, but I think think it's going to be better than the others. Yeah, so we can cut a card. Uh, we can... Well, if we get rid of the Blighted Caretaker, we would free up a lot of space in our deck, but it is a solid card. I think we can get rid of the Dragon. Alright, Maker. Yeah, Janet gets rolled by the big units. You don't have enough time to scale up. We've tried it for 6.5 before. And even though I really like Janet, I just don't think she is there yet. I think we'll get rid of the Hydra Vine. We need some of our cheap, like, one costs. There we go. Perfect. Although, playing this would summon two units right away. Both of these have over four power, so both of them would give us cost reduction. Also, the Maker's probably going to get recalled immediately. Although, the Caretaker's might as well. The problem is this is just like burst speed, essentially, so we can't actually counter it. And also the recall is going to suck, because if it gets recalled, it's then cost increased. Yep, that sucks. They grow up so fast. My so yeah, not great, but this actually, this is actually terrible for the modifiers you have. Because anytime a unit gets recalled, you're not really going to be able to play it because of the broken blade. I want to drop our hapless aristocrat to do a death's grasp, but I feel like it's just going to get immediately recalled. Alright, they are out of mana. So we'll have this go here to fizzle their attack. And then we'll kill this one as well. Decent. Now the good thing is, we should be able to ramp up enough to get past the point where they can recall our units, but getting there is a little bit of a struggle right now. Uh, sure, let's use this here. Summon two more mists and potentially play our Viego right here. Uh, one away. Sad.
All right, let's drop the ego. Yeah, all these encroaching mists are just helping us scale, although again, so are they from... I've lived to see a new age. Eh, not great. All right, let's again drop another unit that's going to summon more mists. We have to just scale as much as possible. So actually the cost reduction is counterbalancing their cost increase. So that's not too bad. And this can only hit followers. It can't hit units. So we could go like this. Let's get our Thresh on the board. So yeah, we can kill one, summon one. Yeah, Viego actually is probably one of the best for this modifier, apart from like Aurelian Soul. So that would level our Viego and give us another mist. Okay, perfect. We're just trying to put as much damage down this round as we can so we can end. The shadow isles are just the beginning. Vi rework for Arcane Season 2, probably. Yeah, probably. Trifarian Might would be good. Yes, I love Trifarian Might. Alright, so this should be more than enough damage. GG. Yeah, the cost reduction you get is quite nice. Oh. Uh, Crumble, Viper Worm, Sunderer. So this is potentially a good one. Crumple's not bad, but we already have a good amount. I think, yeah, we will go here. Uh, also, yeah, healing up isn't as important for Viego because we have a crazy amount of regen. So we can take massive damage every round and still be pretty much fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Crumble summoning a Poro is not terrible. Doesn't really matter for us. We already have a lot of challenger from our mists. Let's try a reroll. Sure. Another unit for our Viego to potentially kill. Yeah, we can get one extra copy here. Seems fine. All right. What do we want to cut? Hmm. Possession actually is good against these higher level encounters, so possession is actually not terrible. Blighted Caretaker could be good. I actually like pretty much all of the cards we have. The Viper Worm is like not really that needed. I mean, yeah, Caretaker to thin the deck is what I was thinking. Like, it is a solid card, though. How many of them do we have? So we have four. Like, it, it lets us draw two units. It gives us two. I think we'll get rid of the Viper Worm. All right, Orn. Building a deck, are we? Excellent. I brought mm. nails.
This looks okay. And so far we've played almost no duplicate cards, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is probably not going to be able to kill any of their units. Uh, so we could use a crumble. Not opposed to that. Left foot, left foot. This would help us immediately summon some mists. Let's go ahead and summon some more mists. Alright, so this is decent. We already have some good scaling, good damage right away. Yeah, so we can drop this, have a board full of units, and then drop our Viego. And he'll now be leveled. Yeah, Viego is pretty good for this adventure. Alright, let's get our free attack going. And we're totally fine with it dying. We're just putting on more pressure. If we can keep them from having units, that's a win for us. Alright, pretty fantastic. Yeah, even if we do play any units, we're having so much cost reduction that it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, let's drop another crumble. Yeah, we can just keep them from having units. That's perfectly fine for us. We're summoning so many mists. Oh, man. All right, GG. Oh. Yeah, we never really use possession. I know it can be insanely good, though. Especially against some of these where they just have these massive units. We haven't really needed it, though. Uh, I think I'd rather get Viego on the board earlier. We're already getting so much power and scaling from all of our mists. That, yeah, I like this better. Turn one Viego is always the best. Uh, summon two husks. There would be two more units dying for phantom pranks. Technically two more units we could kill right away if we wanted. Uh, it's... I don't think it's that fantastic. Memory game's kind of bad because it's trying to get you to play the same cards over again, which we don't want to do. Yeah, this, this should be fine. Spells, item chest. I think I'd rather go for the item chest, so let's go for Lord Broadmain. Alright, definitely... Yeah, whenever you're re-rolling here, you just want to make sure you don't have any of the same card. Oh, this, is, this can be so good, but... 
against these nightmares when they have so many units is just not likely to be able to work. I think let's kill one of these to summon two more units. That way we have the cost reduction for our Diego. Then we can drop Diego immediately. The whole world. Let's drop the arachnid. Go on, Fang. Just like I told you. Ah, that's a little sad. He was adding up to so much damage. All right, so let's see. When another ally dies, drain one. This will, I will find her. this should summon a, another mist, giving our Viego a little bit more power. Yeah, we have a lot of things we can play. Kill a follower three or less. We don't even have any followers three or less. <laughs> Yeah, our Viego will be close with their Lord Broadmain. Okay, they didn't want to deal that with that at all. All will be consumed by the Black Mist. I do like that when Viego levels up, his effect of summoning another Mist resets as well. Alright, sure, we can drop our Scuttlegeist. And I think we'll hold off for now. We're gonna make them afraid of us. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the unit we stole. Yeah, sadly, it's filling up our board a little bit too much. Uh, let's go ahead. We can crumble this to... Yeah, let's get rid of the Prefect. Bad. Yeah, we're not getting scaly from our mists because our board is too full. All right, let's just attack and uh, end. Yeah, I do think we'll actually... We will end up cutting the Caretaker, I think. Normally when we're playing it, our board is just so full that... It's blocking too many of our units. Why does every one of your units only zero or one mana? Yeah, it's our two-star power which gives us cost reduction when some of our bigger units die. Uh, one cost rekindler is not bad. Our Viego is pretty much never dying though, but sure. So yeah, our two star. Uh, plus one starting mana when an ally with four or more power dies, reduce the cost of all four or more power allies in hand by one. All of our units are above that threshold. And so we're getting that cost reduction when any of our units die, pretty much. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting more of our Hydra Vine, to be honest. Don't really care about most of these. Golden Herald is actually pretty good, but that would be outside of our region. Uh, don't really care about Phalanx. Let's see. Smooth Soloist, Shop. Try one reroll. Okay, nope, not gonna play it. 
Uh, let's go for the smooth soloist. So unscarred reaver. Uh, hold on to the Hydra Vine. Let's get rid of both of these. You just finished this run with Jinx. Got pretty lucky, though. Yeah, I don't think Jinx is going to be the best here, because normally you're playing some of the same cards. All right, we do not have Viego. That kind of feels bad. Especially because we could probably play him right now. Uh, well... Uh, let's see. Let's actually kill this unit. So, because it's above the four power threshold, so it'll give us cost reduction on our other units. Left foot, left foot. <laughs> I learned my scars. All right, so she'll scale up a little bit, which isn't the best. Was hoping, yeah, we could... Well, sadly, the other mist got uh, blocked by the mighty Poro, so we would have had more scale in here for more cost reduction on our units. Sadly, that won't quite be the case. Yeah, converging timelines, I am not a fan. Uh, we could drop our Thresh. That would see a good amount of units die. But Thresh would also probably die in this attack. I think let's go for the Soldier, actually. Summon another Mist. Ah, uh, they have... They have three. Yeah, we'll go for a caretaker. Alright, so... Not really have anyone good to block the Mystic. I guess we'll block it here. So taking some damage, but gains some good cost reduction. Not too bad. We can get our Thresh level. That would be... That would be nice. Uh, we could drop our Soul Gorger. I mean, it would get us one closer to uh, Thresh leveling. I think we'll maybe drop it next turn when he's free. Oh, right, yeah, let's go ahead and... Play this first, because the Encroaching Mist will give us a little bit more stats. Let's get rid of that unit. <laughs> uh, Elixir of Iron is not going to help you there. A Soul 6 star would be a round start, create a fleeting zero cost celestial card in hand. I mean, yeah, that would be pretty crazy. Alright, let's. Drop our Soul Gorger. Please kill it. All right, well, that sucks. We wanted, we're one away from Thresh leveling to be able to pull out. Our Viego. Unfortunately, they're not wanting to play ball, so to speak. Rush will be very close to dying. 
spot? Yeah, I guess let's go right here. Well, GG. Well, even without Viego, GG. Vengeance, bit too expensive. We don't get cost reduction for spells. When another ally dies. Yeah, we have too many mists right now. So I guess we'll go here for the chime slime. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can we get like Trifarian? Uh, out of the gate, summon a two cost. So that's going to be Fading Icon or uh, Chime Slime. I don't know. I think that's fine. Another unit out of the gate is more cost reduction for our Viego. Yeah, we can give it to the Blighted Caretaker. And Viego versus Viego. How fun. No power in this world can stop me. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Thresh increases our chance to draw Viego. Which would be nice. So yeah, we can just drop him for one mana turn one. Pretty good. And two of these units are already above or at four power. She waits for me beyond the My queen. Perfect. The Disgrace is one of the best cards. Because it's almost immortal. Alright, killing Viego, not that fun. But not that big of a deal. Sure, let's try to immediately get Thresh on the board. Um, we kind of want it to die. So yeah, we can attack like this. They'll potentially get another miss next round, which will be a little bit sad. But it's kind of nothing we can do about it at the moment. Yeah, we'll end here. Oh, Chimes Line. Interesting. So I think let's drop this first. Yeah, if we actually kill the Crumble, <laughs> their Viego will just level. So we actually can't do that. Yeah, that'll be a little annoying. Let's actually, if we get rid of the prey, yeah, we get the mist. Probably is the best. We really need to kill that Viego. So just getting rid of that spell shield. Like, killing any of his other units just means he levels this round. Which isn't really great. Uh, so we can have... Units dying here. We need to not kill the Hydra Vine. Alright, so we still might level. But at least our Thresh will be leveled, so we can pull out Viego next round. Yeah, that seems fine. Am I tra crazy for trying Echoing Spirit, Guardian Orb on Kindred? 
trying it in general no trying it into the six and a half yes so if that's what you mean then yeah you're probably a little bit crazy all right so yeah he's gonna level which means he's gonna try to kill the disgraced. The shadow isles are just the beginning. I guess he's, yeah, he's gonna steal it, right? Not kill it. All right, so we could drop some more units, but. We really want to attack. The issue is, how big is our Viego going to be? Because our Viego would potentially just die. But we do have a Death's Grasp. Let's try to go like this. Our Thresh will die, giving us a Rally. So that can be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack like this. I don't really want to wait because I'm just worried that they're going to just like hit Thresh with like a vengeance, making it so we can't get our Viego. That's the main worry I'm having right now. Hopefully our Viego can scale up enough to be fine. All right, so... Oh my word. That's so many mists. <laughs> uh, so we can't actually kill this. Let's drop it here to kill their Viego. Yeah, we do have Rekindler as well. Rekindler is very nice. And since our Viego has already died, it will summon another one. Even if this one stays alive. Yeah, he's going to level, and then he can make another one. Well, how the turntables. Alright, so we could drop something, but that would actually... We don't have enough space. Sure, this is just a big unit... We can somewhat take our time because they don't have any mana for the most part. Alright, so we can just bring this over here. And then that'll be game. GG. <sighs> nice. Without her, there is only darkness. All right, I think that was really good. So obviously that was six star Viego, but I think if you just even have like three star Viego and potentially some upgrades, maybe like four star, you'll still probably do fine here. I think Viego is a solid answer to this because throughout all of the stuff we were playing, I think there was only like two, maybe three times we played the same card in a game. Like we played multiple crumbles, one or two games, and uh, the one card we cut, the Caretaker, I think we played that twice in the game once. But in general, you're playing just a different card every time. So the cost increase isn't really bothering you. And then... With Viego, you can end games fairly quickly, and you also have some decent scaling. Viego himself, when he gets on the board and leveled, he can just steal their units, so you can turn their own power against them. I think Viego is actually a solid answer to this one. Thank you for watching that video, especially all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.